Hey guys, I'm Daniel and today I'm going to be running through the parts we use when building a big power YD25. This engine is built to handle around 350 horsepower. It's running a standard crank, but we've had aircraft grade crack testing done to it. Con rods are standard, they've been resized and shot peened. To hold it together we've upgraded the big ends and the mains to ARP studs. For the big ends and mains we use Toyo tri-metal bearings. Pistons are standard with ceramic coated tops. The deck of the block has been o-ringed and we're using ARP head studs. Cylinder head's been ported. It's got titanium retainers and it's got stronger valve springs. Make sure when you put silicon on the rear timing cover that you don't get any into that groove. When you're rebuilding your engine, make sure you change the vacuum pump bearing. Uh, it's pretty much the only thing that goes wrong with them. The fuel pump is an Isuzu 4J pump modified to suit a YD25. Since we're using stronger valve springs and we have got a bigger fuel pump, it's going to put a lot more load on the timing chains. So we're upgrading to the yd25.com.au duplex timing chain kit. These are the standard D22 oil pump gears. They're sintered. They're prone to wearing away on the drive flats. You can see the wear on this oil pump drive here. So we're upgrading to our billet high flow oil pump gears. They're thicker, better material. Uh, and we also make billet oil pump drives as well. Another issue with the D22 oil pumps is that the oil pump pickup drops down into the sump. This means you have to remove the sump to be able to pull off the oil pump. Uh, to fix this issue, we machine the part section that drops down into the sump, and then we put a fitting into the sump to make up for the area that's machined, and then an O-ring goes between it to seal it. So it becomes like a D40 setup, and then you can pull the oil pump off the front with the sump in place. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, we're going to be doing a fair few more videos testing out this engine in single turbo and compound turbo setups. So to keep up with the build, subscribe.